This isn't the movie Contagion. It's not like you're gonna get coronavirus and die. Very low, very, very low chance of that happening, only about 2%. The market though is up 5%. Record on the Dow in terms of total points. Crazy day. Why did we have such a big day? Everyone thought we were gonna go down. Well, if you look at Friday, then Friday we're starting to turn up, confidence was starting to build, and we lost a lot. We lost over 10% on all, all the averages. It's a big drop to have. Over the weekend, we got a bunch of new cases. We have one in New York City. Three deaths today in Seattle total. In the US, we now have three deaths. So why is the market not selling off on deaths of coronavirus in the United States? Borders are being cut off. So we cut off big borders and you know a lot more screening from Italy. Iran, if you're coming from Iran, you're not getting to the United States. It's just the way it is. They've got a pretty big outbreak going on there. President Trump doesn't want people getting involved with coronavirus in the United States. Now, what else is President Trump doing? He actually met with three very large pharmaceutical companies, two of which, Gilead and Pfizer, are very deep in the pursuit of the uh, vaccine, treatment, and testing kits. Gilead, they were the leader with Ebola. They're working on coronavirus. They have experience doing this kind of thing. And we're gonna have these medicines and all this stuff in a year, because that's gotta go through a year of trial and error, testing on people, making sure it's safe. And once it's registered and safe, we're gonna let it go to the people. Now, I you know, was all about coronavirus, saying you know, the market wasn't risking coronavirus, the market wasn't risking coronavirus. Why am I so relaxed about it all of a sudden? Well, the death rate is about 2%. That's probably gonna be less in the United States. Um, the United States has the best healthcare in the world. It's private, a lot of money involved. They're very good. Best doctors, they all come here, go to our schools, work in our hospitals. Yes, some go to Asia, but we're not discounting Asia. You know, China's not what it used to be 20 years ago. So another thing about China, this is why another thing about me not being super concerned about coronavirus right now. They were able to bring down their daily average cases from about 1,600, some days way more than that, down to about four or 500 cases a day. That number was down again today. I don't have it right off the top of my head. But China has gotten coronavirus under control with a much weaker healthcare system than us. So my point was the market wasn't considering the risk involved. And there's always been a risk and I'm not saying coronavirus is going to go away. You know, nobody knows that. It's possible that more, people, more cases could start happening. But I do think the healthcare system in the United States is very good. And the United States is very aggressively shutting off borders with countries that have a high case rate. Like China, like South Korea, like Japan, like Italy, and like Iran. So... We're doing a very good job of making sure coronavirus doesn't come in a meaningful way to the United States. We are essentially an island to the rest of the world, so it's not going to spread very easily. It's not like, you know, somebody would just drive in or a package would get delivered that has coronavirus. That is a lot less of a risk in the United States. You add that with our superior health insurance, well, not health insurance, but healthcare system, Yet another reason why it wouldn't be such a huge issue here. And, you know, other countries are kind of incentivized not to, not to bring it here. Because if the U.S. were to go and suffer economic consequences, the rest of the world would be suffering economic consequences. So they're doing their part. I'm sure President Trump is like, hey, no. Like, make sure that you are do doing some sort of screenings at your airports. We're obviously doing them here as well. But I'm sure the entire world you know, doesn't want it spreading to the United States. So what does the outlook look like from here? Well, the economic fundamentals still remain very strong. So the Fed is talking about lowering interest rates. I personally don't think that's necessary. I think that is kind of something they were just hinting at and the market was kind of pricing in because they saw the downward trend was getting ugly. So the Fed comes out and says, you know, we'll take whatever action is necessary. All the feds around the world basically saying the same thing. Um, but the mo economic fundamentals are very strong and we shouldn't be in this p position right now. But coronavirus came and economic growth kind of just slowed and we still don't really know where that's at. 
My bet is, yeah, economic growth is slowing, especially in China, and people aren't going to conferences like in San Francisco and stuff. And those those are people not staying at hotels, not going to restaurants, not calling Ubers. That's there's definitely economic loss. Now, what kind of effect is that going to have compounding? It's all about the compounding effect of things in the future. I don't know. You know, um, I think it's going to be small. Um, you know, I definitely think it's there. Definitely exists, but we will see. I'm I'm very interested to see what the market feels tomorrow. Um, I think today people were starting to be less panicky on coronavirus, and that's kind of what the whole thing was about last week. It was just straight panic. So let's see what happens. The underlying economy is strong, so it's definitely, you know, if you, if what you want is still what you think is a good price, you must buy it because I predict it will go up and the economy will remain strong, continuing to get stronger. Unemployment's pretty much at the lowest it possibly could be. So the only thing that's left in that regard with jobs is wage increases and, you know, increased income. So that's going to help the consumer even more because the consumer is the strongest it's ever been, super strong. Um, and that's just going to help companies and help the economy even more. And then you've got China, who's now going to be starting to buy more things through the United States. India, who's becoming stronger by the day and whose relationship with Trump is growing. So they're going to get some sort of trade deal. That's going to help us. That's going to help them. So the economic bull run is certainly here from a geopolitical macro level. And from a micro level, coronavirus is a short-term impact that is kind of just delaying that bull run. You know, we're not going to pressure China to uphold the contract right now because <laughs> coronavirus. But they're saying that they're going to uphold the contract. So trade deal being the contract. So things are looking good. Things are looking good. Coronavirus, it is what it is. We're going to take this opportunity, Black Friday, make our purchases now, it seems like we can start doing. I would advise you to have 20 to 25% in cash, maybe, maybe like 10, 15 to 20% in cash. Um, I have about 10%. And be ready to move when things pop up. So, all right. You got it? We got questions. We leave them in the comments. We shoot me DMs. And uh, sorry I haven't been on the lives as much, but I'll be doing more lives. I'll be doing more lives. I want to get back on the live game. So, sounds good.